All right, let's do this thing. Hello and welcome. This is a thing that I've been asked to do a couple times. I've seen some other people doing. So we're going we're gonna to give it a try. We're going to take this 16 personalities test and we're going to see how we fare. Apparently it takes less than 12 minutes. Uh, you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. No. You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. Uh, sure, I'll give you that one. Try to respond to your emails as soon as possible. Yes. Find it easy to stay relaxed, even when there is some pressure. Not really. Pressure really, like, gets to me now. I've gotten older. You do not usually initiate comment. That's not true. You rarely do... Nope, that's not true. You feel superior to other people. Mmm. We're supposed to be 100% honest with this. <sighs> yeah, a little bit, sometimes. It's a bad habit of mine. Being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. No, I would rather be adaptable. Like, being organized is important, but I'd rather be flexible. Would I rather be flexible? No, I'd rather be organized. Usually highly motivated and energetic. Yeah. Winning debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Yeah. I just don't want anybody to be mad. I'd like to win. It would be nice to win, but if at the end of a debate you're mad at me, then what was the point of us debating? Because we can't debate again. Uh, oh, yeah, I feel like I have to adjust myself all the time. Uh, no, they're not tidy at all. The place is a mess right now because of my leg. I uh, do not mind being at the center of attention. Uh, sure. More practical than creative? I don't think I'm practical at all. I think there's a lot about me that's not practical. Uh, but I also don't think I'm creative. We'll go middle. People can rarely have... No, I get mad real quick. But I also get over it real quick. Travel plans, yes. I take a lot of time to think about where I'm going. Often difficult for you to relate to other people's... No. Mood can change for... Yep. In a discussion, truth should be more important than other people's sensitivities. Well, see, like, that calls back to the debate question. Cause I think truth is more important, always. But you also need to, like, not be a jerk about it, you know? I'm going to use a different word. <laughs> you really worry about how your actions affect other people. Uh, no, I worry all the time. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than a methodical and organized. No. My work style is methodical work. Always work. Never stop work. Always work. <laughs> you are envious of others. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Interesting book or video game. Yeah, I'll give you that. Often better than a social event. Being able to develop a plan and stick to it is the most important part of every project. Yes. You rarely get carried away by fin No, I get carried away all the time. Uh, yeah, I find myself lost in thought all the time. Lost in thoughts all alone. Someone does not respond to your email quickly. Yep, that's me. As a parent, you would rather see a child grow up kind than smart. I mean, yeah, your kid needs to be kind, but I also want my kid to be smart, you know? Like, does that make sense? Do not let other people influence your actions. Well, I mean, we're doing this test right now, aren't we? So, disagree, I guess. Uh, I mean, no. On the whole, I don't let other people's decisions influence my actions. When you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. No, my dreams tend to focus on me dying constantly. It does not take you much time to start getting involved in social activities. Yeah. That's, you're more of a natural improviser than a careful planner. Um, I improvise a lot, but I also like to plan. I'm going to go neutral on that. Your emotions control you more than you control them. No. Like, my emotions, they're, they're there, and they're very powerful, but I, I have them in control. Well, we'll do this. Do you enjoy going to social events that involve dress-up or role-play? I mean, yeah. I like D&D. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and impractical yet intriguing ideas. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You'd rather improvise than spend time coming up? No. No at all. I always come up with detail plans. The question is just whether I stick to them. Relatively, no, we all know better than that. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to fire loyal, but yeah, I would, actually. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence. No, not really. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. Logic is very important. Heart's important? Logic's very important. Keeping your options open is more important than having a to-do list. No. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer your emotional support and suggest ways to deal with the problem. Now, I'm one of those people that when you tell me you got a problem, my mind immediately starts going like, how can we fix this? You know, I strongly disagree. I mean, I'm there for you. But if you're telling me you got a problem and I know of a way to fix it. Yeah, we're going to try and fix it. 
Barely feel insecure. No, I feel insecure all the time, man. Kidding me? Have no difficulties coming up with a personal timetable and sticking to it. Yep, that's that. We're right there. Being right is more important than being cooperative when it comes to teamwork. Well, no, I mean, you still gotta, still gotta be cooperative, but being important, being right is pretty important. I go a little bit. I think that everyone's views should be respected. Yes. Whether they're supported by facts or not, I think everyone's views should be respected. I also think that some people are just wrong, but respect their viewpoint, even if you don't agree with them. That doesn't mean you have to believe that viewpoint, and that doesn't mean you accept it as truth, but you respect it regardless, because somehow they got there. You believe what you want to believe, I'm going to believe what I want to believe. I believe you're wrong, but it's fine. You know, respect everybody's viewpoints, that's important. Feel more energetic after spending time with a group of people. Yeah, absolutely. You frequently misplace your things all the dang time. See yourself as very emotionally stable. Yeah. Oh, I didn't used to be, but I feel like I am now. Your mind is always buzzing. Yeah. You would not call yourself a dreamer. Well, no, I mean, I wouldn't because call yourself a dreamer. Like, that's, that's a weird title to call yourself, right? But I do have dreams that I die in all the times, but I still wouldn't call myself a dreamer. Usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. No, not really. I used to. I definitely used to, but uh, this job has cured that. Generally speaking, you rely more on your experience than your imagination. I do rely on experience a lot. You worry too much about what other people think. Yes, I do. The room is full. You stay closer to the walls. Yes. Yes. I've been mugged four times. I avoid the center of rooms at all possibilities. You have a tendency to procrastinate until there's not enough time to do everything. Sometimes. Not a lot. Most of it's work. You feel very anxious in stressful situations. That's sure. Yeah, I guess. I mean, stress is stress gets to you. You believe it's more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Yeah, absolutely. If people like you, like, it doesn't matter how much... Like, I'm not a powerful person anyway because the asthma and everything. But, you know. Always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things. Yeah, absolutely. Lovecraft, you know. Often take initiative. I'm sure. Okay. Who am I? Personality test. I am the protagonist. Okay. I'm very extroverted. That's fair. But I'm a little bit introverted. I agree with that. Uh, I'm pretty intuitive. But I'm not that observant. Oh, man. People I know say I'm super observant. Well, I mean, they don't say that often. But you know what I mean. Uh, I spend a lot of time feeling instead of thinking. I think that's backwards. I think, I think we did this wrong. I think we made some mistakes. I mean, maybe I do, but I think I spend more time thinking. I spend more time judging than prospecting. Okay. And I'm more turbulent than I am assertive. What does that mean? <laughs> I can't even read all this. It's all grayed out. What does that mean? Uh, protagonists are natural born leaders full of passion and charisma. Forming around 2% of the population, they are oftentimes our politicians, our coaches, and our teachers. Or YouTubers, I guess. Uh, take a great deal of pride in enjoying guiding others to work together to improve themselves and their community. Okay, yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, people are drawn to strong personalities. Protagonists radiate authenticity concern and altruism unafraid to stand up and speak when they feel something needs to be said sure they find it natural and easy to communicate with others especially in person and their intuitive trait helps people with the protagonist personality type to reach every mind facts and logic are raw emotion okay protagonists easily see people's motivations and seemingly disconnected events they're able to bring these ideas together and communicate them as a common goal with an eloquence that is nothing short of mesmerizing Interest protagonists have in others is genuine, almost to a fault when they believe in someone. They can become too involved in other person's problems, too much trust in them. I mean, yeah, that's that's fair. I do that sometimes. People tell me sometimes that I'm being nosy. When no, I just want to help you, though. I see your potential. I know you can do this. That sounds super, super jerky. I see your potential. Luckily, this trust tends to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Protagonist altruism and authenticity inspire those they care about to become better themselves. Are careful, they can overextend their optimism, sometimes pushing others further than they're ready or willing to go. And I've absolutely broken friendships on accident. I still don't like completely believe in this. Oh, hey, Barack Obama, Oprah Winfrey, John Cusack, Cusack, Ben Affleck, 
Sean Connery, Jennifer Lawrence, Lovato, Daenerys Targaryen. As soon as she started putting fictional people in here, I, I questioned it. Um, also, how is how is the Oracle and Morpheus the protagonist when that's definitely Neo? Like, hold on. Oh man, I'm Skylar. Uh, is there any more information about it here? Or just no? Okay, well, I guess that's everything. All right. More likely personality type to enjoy going on short, spontaneous trips. I do that sometimes. Protagonists are genuine, caring people who talk the talk and walk the walk, and nothing makes them happier than leading the charge, uniting and motivating their team with infectious enthusiasm. People with the protagonist personality type are per passionate altruists, sometimes even to a fault, and they're unlikely to be afraid to take the slings and arrows while standing up for the people and ideas they believe in. No wonder that many famous protagonists are cultural or political idol icons. Personality type wants to lead the way to a brighter future, whether it's by leading a nation to prosperity or leading their little league softball team to a hard fought victory. I mean, sure. So far, like it sounds it sounds very similar to like myself. I don't a hundred percent believe it. Like there's some things I disagree with here, but sure. I'm the protagonist, I guess. Uh protagonists are tolerant, liable. Charismatic, altruistic, and leaders, but they're also overly idealistic, too selfless, too sensitive. They have fluctuating self-esteem. Yep, that's me. And they struggle to make tough decisions. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, what about oh, romantic? I'm a slow walker, but I never walk back. Uh, yeah, sure. And I'll escape the responsibility tomorrow by evading it today. Yeah, I believe that. Uh, friendship. Uh... We should be too big to take offense and too noble to give it. Sure. That seems fair. Never want to offend somebody. If I offend somebody, I'm sorry. I can't. I did my best not to. Tagging his parents. Whatever you are, be a good one. Uh, take pride in nurturing and inspiring. They care to ensure. Okay. I, this is where you're starting to really lose me here. Because, like, I love my parents. They're great. But they did not, like... Like, ensure the basis of these values from understanding and not blind obedience. My parents were like, hey, my dad specifically when I was younger was like, hey, do as you're told, not as I do. And like, as he got older, he changed and it became, you know, do as I do. And was a great role model for me. Probably the best role model I've ever had. But when I was younger, it was for sure do as I say. <laughs> All that I am or hope to be, I owe to my angel mother. I love my mother. I am a I am a straight mix between my mom and dad and myself. Like that is what I am. Uh don't worry when you are not recognized, but strive to be worthy of recognition. Yeah, that's that's literally me on YouTube. It's like, hey, if we don't if we don't get popular with people, that's fine, I understand. But if we do, I'm gonna do my best. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than the other. I agree. I guess I am the protagonist. Protagonist subordinates! Protagonist colleague Yeah, we're not getting into all that. I'm not. Uh, conclusion. That protagonists can be easily tripped up in areas where their idealism and passion are more of a liability than an asset. Whether it's navigating interpersonal conflicts, confronting unpleasant facts, pursuing self-realization, finding a path that aligns well with your inner core, you may face numerous challenges that at times can even make you question who you really are. Oh yeah, boy, I went through that phase. Trying to decide who I was. I'm happy now, though. So yeah, I guess I'm a protagonist, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you got. This test is free, you know. Oh no, I'm not buying books on this. I want to do the free test. Uh, but yeah, this test is free. So let me know if you guys want to uh, want to do this. Let me know what you got. I guess I'm the protagonist. I can't make jokes about other people being the protagonist anymore, I guess. The question is, if I'm the protagonist... What type of story is this? <laughs> anyway, until next time, I've been Trey. This has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum that dumb personality tests have to offer.